If you hear a fan in the background, man up. Ignore it. Only option you guys have. We're going through a heat wave in my state. Well, the whole eastern of the U.S. is going through a heat wave. Uh, I picked the day where it was the coolest. I refused to record in my office at 102 degree weather. So, if you hear wind in the background, that's my fan. Man up. I tweaked the condenser a little bit more. Just in case there is a little bit of feedback of wind in the background. If not, I did my part. If there is, man up. So today we're going to be watching number 44 to 34. On Friday, it's going to be 33 to 23. So we're almost done with this whole series. There is a search book video that I saw that I think it had 50 videos. And there's another one that I saw that had 100 videos. Would you want me to stream those? Thoughts on streaming? Or do I continue doing it in this style, in this format, where for 50 videos, I maybe do 10 per video? Or for the 100 video, I may do 20 per video. That'll be five videos in total. Let me know. You guys dictate the future of this channel. But let's get into number 44 to 43. Huh? Let's get into 44 to 34. I might be dyslexic because you put the numbers around, it's 34. 43, you flip the round, it's 34. Maybe that's what my brain thought. I don't know. Are you ready? Dun, dun. Okay. Y'all ready for DX? Because I am. Let's get into the video. The following video was sent to me 40, through email by a four. man named Chris, with this description provided. Quote, I bought my parents a ring doorbell a couple of years ago, okay. and they've never seen anything strange on it. But this July 4th, 2020, they caught this video. My they whole caught. family was at their lake house for it. And after being uh, on the lake and drinking parents. beer all day, we were all asleep by midnight at the latest. Yet this was caught around 3 a.m. and no one was awake. Also, the path the figure takes is stupid and dangerous as there are decorative boulders and trees in the way. A normal person would have gone to the left of the trees, which is wide open. Don't know much about their house, but they bought it in 2014 after the previous old lady that owned it died. Oh. We've never experienced oh. anything other than this, and I personally haven't anywhere. End quote. With this description <laughs> in mind, let's take a look at the video. The thing runs for like another minute, and he never comes back. He never does anything else. Wherever this, this letter rings again. Is that wearing a dress or something? Again. Not like a wedding dress? Mm. Wedding dress? It is creepy how it's just, it's, it's like dark a, there. It's like and then, yeah, boom. This kind of a shower out of nowhere. Just came from... Ah. Uh, uh. The figure itself certainly looks spooky, and in the video you can hear the people in the background speculating whether or not the figure is wearing a dress. Judging yeah, it's by definitely their like reactions, a dress, like a nightgown. This is most likely an extraordinary situation that they haven't experienced before, just like Chris told me in his email. So what do you guys think? Uh... Was this a ghost caught on camera? Was it just a random person wandering around? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. It's, I think it's a random person. It's, it's just, just, just so many unknowns for it to be like a ghost. It is way too, you no know, apparent. Sometimes the spirits you see in other videos, they're very clear or translucent that they got from the boys. This was a clear body. This was a clear nightgown like dress. So it's, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's weird. It's only so short, it's so brief. 
Adventure Dax Explores is a smaller Dax. YouTube channel that focuses on Dax as he ventures out to a wide variety of abandoned and allegedly haunted buildings from all around the world okay. to document his interesting and oftentimes chilling discoveries for his subscribers to see. In this video that was uploaded to his channel in October of 2021, Dax is walking through an abandoned hospital, which proves to be quite eerie as you're about to see. Dax Slender. encounters a wide variety of terrifying things throughout the night, Slender. including hearing some strange animalistic noises, a man's eerie sounding voice, and even an unsettling humming noise toward the end. Have a look and see these terrifying moments for yourself. I wouldn't do this shit alone. Uh, either a cat or a door closing. Beware of ghosts. Beware of ghosts. November 1, 1988. The bat that flew by. Oh. How? Was that a Mongolian? Taujan? Taujan? Is that a Mongolian? I saw her like a Mongolian throat singing. And guys, pag may nakita kayo, may narinig kayo, comment yun na sa comment section, guys. Oh, medyo. Oh! Ini yan! Bat. Taujan? What could these strange noises be coming from? The comment section is pretty divided, with many being absolutely certain that this is the result of some paranormal entity, whereas others are not too sure about that, stating that it could either be a big setup or another person is in the building with him. True. But what do you think? Is this real or fake? Let me know all of your opinions in the comment section down below, as always. One thing's for sure. Dax will not want to be exploring this hospital again anytime soon. When you're an established YouTuber, you have access to some called money. You could get actors or somebody to fuck with you. It's possible. It could be real. Maybe not. Maybe there's somebody there to fuck with him. I don't really have much words. I, I don't know. Especially in a abandoned building. Could be a bad actor as in like literally a person that's probably just fucking with him as he's exploring because as you saw that one clip where a person you saw like a flashlight ran by one of the rooms he just ignored it the first video for today comes to us from the user purgatory stories purgatory we'll stories the video to the i like that subreddit where you can submit any paranormal footage for a chance to be featured on a future video like this one Filmed sometime this year at the Crybaby Tunnel in Ohio, the video sees a couple of people looking alarmed with their tensions raised as they point flashlights in various different directions, hoping to capture something on camera. It doesn't take too long for both the people in the video and us as viewers to notice what it was that caught these people's attention. Take a look. I saw some baby crying. Like, I don't know, man. Here, come and touch the device in my hand. Get close to it. Oh, wow. Did you hear it? Wow. That was the most convincing. Wow. 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 Did you hear it? Wow. That late at night, wow. And hearing a sound that clear would undoubtedly be freaky. The men in the video seem both creeped out and amazed at the same time. Took them five days to process so. that. Get close to it. Oh, wow. Did you hear it? Wow. <laughs> Get close to it. Seeing as how the noise sounded a bit too clear, it is entirely possible that this was fake. But if it is yes. real, it wouldn't be too much of a stretch either. After all, the place is called the Cry Baby Tunnel. This video may be proof that it's called that for a reason. 
that's fucking baby crying mp3 that's a hundred percent just a soundboard somewhere on youtube it like come on that sounded way too clear that sound that came from a speaker usually it was like a ghostly howl you would hear a little bit more like a reverb or just whispering in it it's just something along the lines that sound that came from a speaker on July 4th, 2010, a YouTuber named Seth Lee Thompson uploaded a creepy video with the simple title of Poltergeist Activity. The video opens up with a title card that provides a bit of context before the actual footage starts. Okay. Quote, Over the past couple of years, I have noticed increasing paranormal activity in my home. Setting up a camera this year, I finally got footage of my poltergeist. These are snips taken from hours worth of footage. Okay. Quote. So with that information, let's dive right into the video. The footage seems to have been recorded in a room in Seth's house, which looks normal enough, but a little over one minute in the footage, something strange happens. Take a look. Not liking this so far. I'm gonna look at my auto. <gasps> okay. I'm looking at my other monitor. I thought it would be like a fucking face. Then, a little while later in the night, we watch footage that was filmed in the same spot as earlier, and yet again, something weird happens. Have a look and see. I'm looking at my other monitor. I'm not gonna look directly straight. Uh oh. I fell down the stairs. Again, an object can be seen tumbling down the staircase, but as you can see, it seems like nobody's at the top of the stairs to push this object down. It so seems like nobody. Students. But if that wasn't creepy enough, take a look at what happens next. Brother. Next photo shows light in the stair returning on and off. This steps come on Seth is completely in the dark as to what happened in this video and even though it was uploaded to the platform 12 years ago there have not been any answers Let's hope that one day that changes. It was a hashling and slasher. Who was flickering? Who was flickering? Flickering. Who was? I'm, I'm not Asian. Uh, who was? <laughs> who was flickering the lights? Over on the popular ghost oh. subreddit, oh, a was user a by the subreddit. name Shadow Twelve posted a video that he says was filmed within his house the year before. I saw a white he sheet. says that in the video he captured something terrifying, and it still freaks him out to this day. So let's take a look and see what happens. Okay, pictures moving. A creepy version of a hold music I typically hear. Why? This don't need to enhance a video that is clear as day of something moving. Sometimes with a video like this, a lot of people would expect there to be a major incident like objects flying around the room. But the fact that this video simply depicts an eerie picture frame moving by itself is more than enough to give you the chills. Burn it. Some comments are suggest that perhaps it could have just been somebody stomping around upstairs, causing the frame to wiggle around. But the uploader insists that there wasn't anybody above him at the time. Do these people know how he physics works? He also states that even if somebody was upstairs, stomping around, it wouldn't have enough force to make this frame wobble. Yeah, he goes on to I like say that. that. He has even more videos related to the paranormal, but he has yet to upload them. Gratefully, though, 
The uploader says that he no longer lives in this house, oh. so we can only hope that his new house Mark. is ghost free and he's living in peace. Oh. Oh. Ain't nobody can stop that hard for things. Only one frame to move like that? Only one frame. You're trying to tell me that somebody upstairs is stomping about and it moves a frame, singular frame, while this, the other three are just stationary. Let's continue. YouTube channel 39 the Paranormal published a video to their page on January 29th, 2019, in which they explored a supposedly haunted location known as the Whaley House. Which is located Why in San Diego, familiar? California. Oh god, I'm gonna be there in September. How creepy it is to explore. In this video, we can see the camera crew setting up various different cameras in certain sections of rooms throughout the house in the hopes of capturing something on camera. In one way, they certainly succeeded as they begin to hear noises that creep them out. Have a listen for yourself. Somebody's walking about. Just trying try to get in. It's like, let me in! Let me in! As the cameras roll, a this wide variety courtroom? of noises can be heard, which are allegedly coming from paranormal spirits within the house. Among these noises are strange whistling noises and the sound of a ghostly presence walking above the roof right above where the cameras are. What do you think was the cause of the noises that were heard in the Whaley House? Considering the fact that the Whaley House is located in the middle of a town and surrounded by other houses, it could have been someone from outside the house simply pranking the paranormal investigators. But since this place is known True. to be haunted, it wouldn't be surprising if what they heard truly was something supernatural. All right, break it down. Hear me out. They don't have no cameras in the second floor, which is I think is a stupid idea. They got somebody in the second floor to walk around and do stuff. Why would you not have any cameras in the second floor? If you started to hear a lot of activity in the second floor, the first thing you do as a fucking investigator is to, hey, we have six cameras. We have five on the first floor, but one on the second. Now we're going to split this shit in half. We're going to do three, three. I'm going to put three upstairs and three on the first floor. The fact that the investigator only left one camera and has no footage to show us from the second floor. It's a hoax, in my opinion. It's yeah, it's a hoax. A Reddit user named Crazy Chris 22 published this video over on the aforementioned Sir Spook subreddit. Even though the video is only 35 seconds in length, it is definitely short but sweet. At the beginning of the clip, Chris is sitting in his room pointing his camera at his bedroom door when he suddenly asks out loud if there's anyone in here, open that door. As you can probably expect, this causes something quite interesting but equally creepy to happen. Take a look. I'm sitting on my bed. Watch this. If there's anyone in here, open that door. Open the door. Open the door. Hmm. If there's anyone in this room, open that door. Open the door. Try harder than that. Sure enough. It only takes a few seconds for the bedroom door to slowly start to open, seemingly all by itself. Then, Chris repeats the exact same phrase, and it seems as though the spirit in his house 
heard his command loud and clear. I'm sitting on my bed. Watch this. Sitting on a toilet. If there's anyone in here, sitting on a toilet. Open that door. And it's a closet door. It's harder than that. This definitely seems like something that could happen, as it is not overly crazy, but merely a ghostly presence opening the man's door. That doesn't make it any less hair-raising though. The door opening could have been caused by an open window, or some sort of a string, mm. or camera. Uh, but yeah, it definitely seems I was gonna say something genuine. like that. What do you think? Is this real, or is it just a hoax? I mean, someone else could be in the room with him with a string, like the guy just said, string. Uh, if not a string thingy, then it could be another kind of mechanic where they could put it from the bottom area and not really been seen. So this ways to do that, but I don't know. This seems a little bit more genuine compared to other stuff. So I'll keep my comments to myself a little bit. Could be a hoax. Could be somebody else in the room that has like something on the floor, like like not a crowbar. It's like this little metal piece that it's straight and then curves up you could easily use that to pull it that's her position in the door you can't see the floor on his bed be sure to leave your thoughts in the comments below on march 15th 2015 a woman named shahira uploaded a video on youtube titled doll moving my chair in which she explains that ever since moving into their new house they noticed some strange things happening with their daughter's toys. Nah, that doll and especially get fucking their daughter's doll. Nuked. Her daughter would tell her that she saw the doll moving and somehow even move across the floor. Therefore, Shahira decided to film the doll. And there was one time, that's why I started listening to her, that I could have swore once I came into the room, it moved. And I'm going to do a close-up of what this doll actually looks like. And it's kind of old. Well, I have nothing really precious or special about it, but it just has this feeling about it. And I'm just going to sit here on my steps and record it and see if maybe she'll do something for us. And I'm just sit here and watch her a little bit. And I don't know, I, maybe it's with all these orbs that's here or something. I don't know how true that is, but it's definitely something. Why, why are people so fascinated with now vertical and not horizontal? Wait, 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 whole chair is moving. Whoa. Okay. Are you seeing this? This is some freaky shit. Oh, I'm about to run. What the hell? Ah, shit! Whoa, what the fuck? It's quite creepy to imagine huh. that this doll could cause an entire chair to move. And if this is what's truly happening, then they're gonna have a hard time adapting to their new house. The only way I can yep. explain how they'd possibly hoax this video is that someone was hiding behind the chair and moving it. But I'm not sure if they'd be able to make the footrest move as well. Whatever the case, it's a creepy clip that further strengthens the fact that dolls are still scary. Yes. Grenade. This video uploaded to YouTube by a Swedish group of friends on December 30th, 2012 those. takes place in the exact same abandoned hospital as the one on the number 10 spot on this list, which certainly makes this all the more creepy. As the young group of friends work their way around the building, they soon begin to get freaked out. At a little over one minute in, they hear this chilling sound out of nowhere Ooh. and spot something that makes them run for their life and out of the building. Take a look and see. <laughs> Motherfucker did a 180 so fast. It seems as if they may have captured a shadow person on camera. Let's That's try and take another look zoomed in and slowed from down. From the door, I saw it. Oh. Oh. It's hard to tell what's going on here, 
but it certainly seems like there's something moving around in the darkness. This place surely seems like it's a popular place for paranormal investigators to go explore, but both this video and the other one before it show that something scary is living inside. Like, I'm down to do some investigations, but I, just like them, I need a group. And I'll also record it in horizontal. Like, I understand TikTok is a whole thing where, I guess, vertical videos is more popular. But I feel like you kind of, like, negate a lot of stuff when you film in vertical. You're missing a lot of elements that could happen on this left and right sides of the video where it could be crucial for context. Uh, let me know if you guys feel the same way about it. Or I'm just a fucking boomer. Who knows? I might just be a fucking boomer. Let's continue. There would absolutely be nothing more creepy than realizing that a paranormal entity may be lurking somewhere in your house. True. Whether you witness it firsthand or on video camera. This video published to the ghost subreddit by the use of Blin11 showcases footage from the uploader's home surveillance camera positioned in the living room. For the first little while, everything seems perfectly normal in this seemingly average house, but it doesn't take long for this average home to be something much more sinister. Have a look at this. Okay, door opening. Door opening. Door open forcefully. Is it gonna slam? The upload of the video went on to explain by stating, My roommate and I work different shifts at different jobs. Me 8 to 4 and him 11 to 8. He told me that when he is getting ready in the morning, he hears a door opening and shutting. We have been assuming that it's just a neighbor. I don't usually arm the cameras until after he leaves, but he is on vacation so they are on from when I leave to when I get home now. I guess he wasn't just hearing things. Any explanations for this? End quote. This is definitely an interesting piece of footage that will leave you with a ton of questions, but not too many answers, unfortunately. It seems as though the door in this house is opening all by itself, but how? Is it simply a hoax, made in the hopes to get views online? Or is this Bro? evidence of a paranormal entity roaming throughout this Reddit user's home? Let me know in the comments below. I mean, he also owns an Xbox, so maybe it is a hoax. I don't know. For him to be out and the roommate out, I don't know. It could be real, could be not. It could be somebody back there. You literally can't see the handle. So it's like the position in the camera seems kind of convenient. YouTuber C said you uncut posted a video to his channel on May 30th, 2021, where he says in the description that he was out riding a quad with his friend in Lake Sisladopsis, Maine, filming the day as okay. it went along. But it wasn't until they both got home and watched the footage back that they noticed they may not have been alone that day. For the majority of the video, nothing harmful seems to be going on, as the uploader and his friend can be heard laughing and telling stories with one another, driving around in the woods on a hot summer day. However, as you would probably expect, something else also occurred that day. Take can't, a look. You can't fix her windshield? Like Norm McDonald? Yeah, dude. <laughs> the uploader uh, Sasquatch. camera to where his friend is sitting 
and it's at that moment where we can make out what appears to be a tall black creature walking quickly or running through the woods before disappearing entirely. A Sasquatch. When the uploader and his friend got home, I'm sure they got the scare of their lives when they noticed that they most definitely were not alone that day. CZU Uncut says that he thinks there could be two possible explanations. Sasquatch. One is that it's nothing more than a bear. But some people in the comments have pointed out that that is quite unlikely, seeing as how the figure in the video was seemingly standing up on its legs and walking relatively quickly through the forest. Sasquatch. Explanation 2 is that this is none other than the elusive Sasquatch, which definitely <laughs> seems to be the more likely answer of the two <laughs> due to the figure's strange, tall appearance and the way it walks. But obviously, this could also just be a hoax. That too. I'll leave it up for you guys to decide. The conversation they were having seemed to be just disingenuous and just like random words and just throwing out random things. Uh, alcoholism and, you know, drinking and, you know, fuck. And McDonald's and other stuff. It's like, what the fuck? Did this, what are they talking about? Like, there's no substance in what the fuck they're talking about. And then... They conveniently hand a camera towards the driver when Sasquatch decides to run by. Come on. Come on. I don't know. I think it's a hoax. I think it's a hoax. I mean, I guess people talk about it. It's entertaining. It's funny. But I think it's a hoax. But that was 11 videos. We're going to do 33 to 23 this Friday. Then it's one more week of this. That's when I'll probably start my Bizarre Bob stuff. But remember the question I said in the beginning. There's other Sarah Spook videos that have 50 videos and 100 videos. Do you want me to live stream them? Or do you want me to continue the system I have now? Which is 50 videos, 10 videos per video. If it's 100, I could probably do 10 per video, which would take basically 10 episodes. Or I could do 20, which would take five. You let me know, or I just stream it. And I just do like a little highlight. I mean, I'm probably still gonna put all the stories and still make it like probably a 10 or 20, depending on which version I do, the 50 or the 100. Your guys' feedback helped me a lot when it comes to the planning of how I do stuff for the channel. So if you want to vocalize your opinion of how you want me to do certain stuff, I will listen. There's a comment section below for a reason. You guys can vocalize how you want me to do it. And if no one responds, then I'm just gonna do it how I said it, which is just for the 50 video, I'll just do 10 per video. For the 100, I'll just do 20. But as always, guys, hope you guys enjoyed today's reaction. Until next time, I love your faces, and I'm out. Peace.